Welcome to the spoken tutorial on setting preferences in LibreOffice Draw. In this tutorial, we will learn to set the following preferences. Properties Create versions View the drawing in color, grayscale and black and white. To practice this tutorial, you should have basic knowledge of LibreOffice Draw. If not, for relevant draw tutorials, please visit this website. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04 and LibreOffice Suite version 6.3.5. Let us open the file 3 dobjects Start that we have saved earlier. This file has been provided to you in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract the file. Make a copy and then use it for practicing. Suppose we want to add descriptions to this file for later reference. To do so, from the main menu, select File and click on Properties. The Properties dialog box opens. Click the General tab if not already selected. All the information that is relevant to the file is listed here. Please note, you can only view the file details here. You cannot make any changes. Next click on the description tab. Here we can enter the title, subject, keywords and comments as required. This information can be used for later reference. In the title field, let us type 3D object start. In the subject field, we will type 3D objects comparisons. In the keywords, we will type 3D, 3D effects. Finally, in the comments field, type learning about file properties. You can type any other relevant information of your choice here as well. Additionally, you may want to set the date on which the document was prepared, the editor of the document, the client for whom the document was prepared, etc. Draw has features that help you customize this information. In the Properties dialog box, click the Custom Properties tab. Here we see three fields. Name, Type and Value. Let us click the Add Property button at the bottom right. We will now see drop-down boxes under each field. Click the Name drop-down and select the date completed option. In the type drop down, we will select date time. The value field will now indicate the current date and zero time. Let's not change the date. But in the time field, we will enter 10.30.33. Now we can know the date on which the document was prepared and the time. Let us now add another field. Click on the Add Property button at the bottom right once again. We will see a second row of drop-down boxes. In the Name drop-down, let us select Check By option. For the Type field, we will select Text. In the Value field, type the text Reviewer1. Click the OK button at the bottom right of the dialog box to update the changes. Next, let us learn how to delete a property that we created. Go to the main menu, click on File and select Properties. In the Properties dialog box, click the Custom Properties tab if not already selected. Notice that the rows of properties are alphabetically arranged. Let us delete the first property checked by. To do so, click the Remove Property button on the right. The particular property gets deleted. Now click the OK button at the bottom right. We can save multiple versions of the same draw file. This feature is called versions. Let us learn how to do that. For example, you may add objects on the first day and save them. Modify the drawing the next day. Want to keep both the original drawing and the modified one. 
Let us save the file using the versions option. From the main menu, go to file and click versions. A dialog box opens with the file name. Click on the save new version button under the new versions section. We will see the insert version comment dialog box. Let us type the comment version 1. Click the OK button at the bottom right to close the insert version comment dialog box. Then close the versions dialog box by clicking on the close button. Now let's change the title text to geometry in 2D shapes and 3D shapes. Select the text. In the sidebar deck, click the properties icon. Let us change the color of the text to blue and the font size to 24. Close the sidebar deck. Adjust the size of the text box to fit the text. Now let's save the file using the versions option once again. From the main menu, go to file and click on versions. In the dialog box, click on the save new version button. The insert version comment dialog box appears. Type the comment version 2. Click on the OK button in the box. A message pops up asking us to confirm the action. Click on the Yes button in the box. We see two versions listed under existing versions, version 1 and version 2. Version 1 is the file with the black colored title font. Version 2 is the file with the blue colored title font. Let us select version 1 and click on the open button at the bottom right. Version 1 file opens in a new window. A message appears at the top indicating that the file is open in read-only mode. Let us close the version 1 file window. We can enable automatic saving of versions every time we close a draw file. To do so, click on File and then click on Versions. Notice a checkbox option that says Always save a version on closing. Check this box. This will ensure that every time you close the draw file, a new version will be saved. Click on the Close button. Draw allows us to set different viewing preferences to our file. Let us change the view of this file to grayscale. Click on view, go to color, grayscale and select grayscale. Immediately we see all the objects are now displayed in gray color. Let's change the view to black and white. Click on view, go to color, grayscale and select black and white. Now we see all the objects are displayed in black and white. Let us switch the view back to color again as shown. The drawing is again displayed in original colors. Let us save the file. Again the confirmation box pops up. Click on the yes button to save the file. Click on the cross button to close the file. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learn to set the following preferences in draw. Properties of a draw file. Create versions. View the drawing in color, grayscale and black and white. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates. For more details, please contact us. Please post your time queries in this forum. The Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by the Ministry of Education, Government of India. This tutorial was originally contributed by Desicru Solutions Private Limited in 2011. This tutorial is contributed by Nikita Misal and Madhuri Ganpati from IIT Bombay. Thank you for watching.